Do you want to lose weight quickly? Are you sleepy? Is your hair kind of gross? Well, try a supplement. There are hundreds of them. Surely one has got to help you, right? Well, maybe not. Supplements are a multi-billion dollar business. Unlike prescription drugs, the US government doesn't regulate manufacturer claims about what supplements could do for you or how well they do it. It only steps in when they may be harmful. Many supplements include vitamins or minerals that are meant to enhance you in some way or make up for a deficiency in your body. And yes, there's other supplement products including herbals, protein supplements, and enzymes, but let's focus on the vitamins and minerals and multivitamins, the most popular supplement out there, well, for now. Your body needs these molecules and elements to survive, but can't make them on its own, so you've got to get them from food. Supplements are meant to, well, supplement what you might be missing from your diet. Doctors and scientists agree you can't miss out on these 13 vitamins. You also need minerals, which are elements like iron, potassium, or magnesium. Many people get enough vitamins and minerals from their diets, but certain groups of people can benefit from supplements. For example, if you've got a nutrient-poor diet, and many of us are probably missing out on at least a small amount of one vitamin or mineral, vitamin supplements can help you plug small gaps in your nutrition. A doctor can diagnose a kind of deficiency and recommend what to take and how much. And certain kinds of supplements, like vitamin D and folic acid, can help expecting mothers reduce the risk of birth defects and low birth weight babies. For more, here's our favorite biologist, Joe Hansen from It's Okay to Be Smart. So for some people, dietary supplements can be a big help. But for most of us, you're probably better off spending your money on groceries and eating a well-rounded diet. You get way more nutritional bang for your buck from food since you're getting more than just vitamins and minerals. You're also gobbling up beneficial plant compounds called phytochemicals, fiber, and other good stuff that you just don't get from supplements. Some researchers still recommend taking a multivitamin as insurance against lapses in our diet, but there's not a whole lot of evidence that show benefits of taking vitamins and minerals. Study after study has shown that vitamin and mineral supplements, especially one-a-day multivitamins, just aren't worth it. One analysis of randomized controlled trials, the gold standard of scientific studies, looked at 90,000 people and found that a multivitamin or multimineral didn't change their risk of cancer, cardiovascular disease, or early death. Quick fun fact, vitamin C is not the end-all be-all for colds that you might think it is. Yes, vitamin C plays a role in your immune system, but no, taking more than 1,000% of the daily recommended dose is not going to ward off a cold. It's just going to make your pee more orange. All right, tell us more, Joe. So there's very little evidence that taking vitamin supplements will make you healthier or smarter or more beautiful. In some cases, taking too much can be harmful. One study found that more than 20,000 people go to the ER each year from an overdose, allergic reaction, or other adverse effects related to supplements. Investigations have also found that some supplements don't even contain any of the vitamins and minerals they claim to. Like, Zero. Zilch. Nada. Oh, and all those other kinds of supplements, like fish oil, protein powder, things like that? A few have shown to be effective, but many show no evidence of improving health. Again, most of the health claims from supplement makers simply aren't supported by scientific evidence. Fish oil, whose omega-3 fatty acids are supposed to ensure heart health, and choline, which people take and hope it will ward off dementia, are both short in evidence of benefits when taken as a supplement. So, should you take supplements? There's some disagreement here. Some experts say you should take a multivitamin as nutritional insurance, while some say they're a waste of money for people who get all or most of their nutrients from a balanced diet. For others with serious nutrient deficiencies or restricted diets, they can help when taken under medical supervision. But everybody agrees that even if you take a multivitamin, it won't help if you're eating a pizza-based diet. The ideal route to getting your vitamins and minerals is through good food, not through supplements. According to the University of California's Berkeley Wellness Program, if multivitamins have an effect, good or bad, it's likely to be small. Ask your doctor, do your own research, and stay skeptical. However, just because a supplement doesn't give the benefit it claims to, doesn't mean that little pill can't help. That's the bizarre result of the placebo effect, which would only work if you hadn't just watched this video, or would it still work? Huh. Anyway, follow us over to It's Okay to Be Smart to see what Joe has to say about the placebo effect. Nay. Thanks for watching.